News! 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 Hello, I'm Jeffrey Newsington, and you're watching the 6 o'clock Newsington News at 6. And here are the newsiest newsers of the day. Our top story today. Coolest kids on the web bassist Aaron Burse has caused quite a stir. During an interview I conducted with the coolest kids on the web, Aaron the bassist made some shocking and controversial statements that have landed the band in some hot water. We will now show you the interview in full, but be warned, some of Aaron Burse's statements may offend or upset some viewers. Hi, hello, welcome to the show. Uh, please take a seat, make yourself comfortable. So, I'll just cycle through all of you. I've got questions for each of you. Elon, I'll start with you first. Please, Jeff, call me Ellie. Ellie? I hear you are considerably more experienced in the music scene than the rest of your bandmates. For Aaron, Tom, and Aaron the bassist, coolest kids on the web is their first band, whereas I understand you've been in quite a number of ensembles. Please, tell me about that. Oh yeah, I've been in a... Uh probably hundreds of bands over the last few decades. Um, to name a few, there were uh, War Crimes Incorporated, Edward Ebola Hands, Elon and the Chunky Hunks, but they kicked me out, so now they're just the Chunky Hunks. Uh, there was a uh, Bleach and Ammonia Cocktail, Elon and the Elonites, Elon and the Stray Cats from around the neighbourhood. I had to disband that project, sadly, because... Um, I couldn't actually teach the Stray Cats how to play their instruments. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I was also once a backup dancer for Beyonce. How'd you manage to become a backup dancer for Beyonce? I don't know. Fair enough. Now, Aaron. Please, Jeff. Call me Aaron. I did. Anyway, your tattoos are quite interesting. Would you be able to tell me the meaning behind some of them? What tattoos? The ones on your arms. I don't have tattoos on my arms. Oh, right, these. Yeah, they're not tattoos. They're really intricate birthmarks. So it's been like that. Here, have a look at my baby photos. Wow, that is adorable. They can actually change too, depending on like the weather and my mood and stuff. Really? Yeah. Take a look at them now. Let that sink in. All right, now, I'm going to get angry. And there you go. See? Well, that is really something. So do they look like that every time you get angry? No, nah, there's like no continuity with these. Very well then. So, Tom. Oh, please, Jeff, you may call me Daddy. I'd rather not. So what's your process when writing a song? Oh, well, uh, usually I start making some lyrics and some music, and then I just keep doing that until it's a full song. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, Aaron, what's your stance on abortion? What? Abortion, Aaron. Yay or nay? That's a really weird question, Jeff. Nonsense. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. You know, I can't say I've given this sort of thing a lot of thought. Don't try to dodge the question! Um, well, I guess we should try to be respectful of other people's choices. The mother might not be in a good position to raise a baby. Uh, it could be that they can't afford it, or they're worried about bringing it up in a bad environment. I just, maybe they're not ready to have a baby at that point in their life, or something. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron the bassist supports killing babies. Hey, I don't think I'd phrase it like that. I mean, what kind of question is that anyway? What kind of interview is this? The kind where I'm asking the questions, thank you very much. Back to Ellie. You're not actually from Australia, are you? You're originally from England, correct? Yep, that's right. So how are you finding Australia so far? Oh, it's uh, terrible, I must say. It's too hot, and your animals all suck. They all seem to want to kill me. And, uh, gotta say, the Australian metal scene? 
Nowhere as good as England's. I'm sorry to hear you're not happy about it. Now, I hope this doesn't sound too rude. But if you dislike Australia so much, why not go back to England? Oh, I'm not allowed back. You aren't allowed back in England? I'm not allowed back in most of Europe. Goodness, why? Uh, well, I'm not good at making friends, but I'm great at making very powerful enemies. I'll be your friend, Elon. Oh, okay. I'll be your friend too, Aaron. Nice. Okay, Aaron, I've seen a gorilla in a number of your videos. I would very much like to know how you all came to acquire this gorilla. Oh yeah, he's that Telva gorilla. Elon and I first saw him at a, at a circus. He was playing piano and we thought, hey, our band could use a pianist. So we took him back with us and now he does all our synth and keyboard bits. So you two stole a gorilla from a circus? I'd say we rescued a gorilla from a circus. Yeah, most circuses abuse their animals. We're heroes. We treat help a gorilla nicely. We give him sandwiches and stuff. What brave men. What inspirations. Gentlemen, I salute you. At ease, Geoffrey. Uh, now, Tom, if a film were to be made about your life, who would you get to play you? Oh, you know, Jeff, it is so funny that you asked that, because that's actually what we were all talking about on the trip over here, and we all said we'd like to be played by Oprah. <laughs> well, you do have a remarkable resemblance. Uh, so back to you, baby killer. Please don't call me that. Okay, so, uh... Racist says what? What? Wow! You hear that, folks? Upon hearing a racist says what, Aaron the bassist responds with... What? I never took you as some kind of bigot, Mr. Burse. Now that's just childish. I don't have a racist bone in my whole body. Perhaps we should stop calling you Aaron the bassist, and start calling you Aaron the racist. I really don't want to be called that. Fine, we'll stick with Baby Killer then. No. Oh, that's a good name for a band, actually. Elon and the Baby Killers. No, it's not. Would you please stop making me out as some kind of fiend? I'm a good person, I swear. Oh, ho, ho. okay then, Mr. Shining Beacon of Morality. Here's a little ethical dilemma for you. Let's say you go back in time. You find yourself in a room with a pillow and a little baby. It's Hitler. It's a little baby Hitler, and you have an opportunity to smother little baby Hitler with a pillow and get off completely scot-free. Would you do it? I don't know. You're dodging questions again. I... I don't know if I could. Why not? Well, I think Hitler was a terrible person and all, just the worst, but I really don't think I'm capable of smothering a baby to death with my own hands. I'm sorry, but I guess I wouldn't kill baby Hitler. Breaking news! Aaron the Bassist admits to being a neo-Nazi! Okay, that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> you disgust me. So, Ellie, do you like live music? Oh, very much. I probably lost count a long time ago of how many concerts I've been to. What would you say is the best concert you've ever been to? Ooh, that's hard. Well... Uh, I'm usually more of a metal guy myself, but I think the best concert I've ever been to, and the one I enjoyed the most, would be when I saw G.G. Allen live sometime in the late 80s, I think. Uh, oh, what a front man. It was definitely the craziest show I've ever been to. Picture this, right? He's about three songs in. He's doing his typical shtick, you know, uh, defecating on stage and self-mutilation and whatever when he starts fighting with one of the audience members. Now, I wanted to get a closer look, so I walk over to where he's punching some dude on the floor, and I trip over someone's foot and land straight on top of Gigi. Uh, of course, he's pretty mad. He turns around and he bites my ear off. <laughs> ah, ah, crazy. Uh, again, I usually prefer metal, but those punk guys are all right. Oh, look, uh, I even kept the ear... That he bit off? Ah, the memories. Wow, that is very rock and roll. So, Aaron, what is your favourite musical memory? My favourite musical memory is from two weeks ago when I found the sampling function on one of Helper Gorilla's keyboards. I used it to record one of my farts 
and now I can make songs completely out of fart noises. Check this one out. I call it In the Hall of the Fart King. Are we listening to the whole thing? We're listening to the whole thing. Phone's dead. Well, that's a shame. I was rather enjoying that. So, moving on to Tom, what does the future have in store for the coolest kids? Oh, well, uh, at the moment, we're at 46 subscribers on YouTube. I'm hoping sometime soon we'll be up to 47. Mmm, ain't that the dream? Now, this is going to be the final question, and it's for you, Aaron. Come out. Lights up, please. Okay, you go here. Mm -hmm. I'll go here. Okay. Lights up, please. As you can see, Aaron, Jeffrey Newsington has been cloned. One of us is good old original Jeffrey. The clone, however, is pure evil, and if allowed to live, would undoubtedly murder hundreds, possibly thousands. You must decide who lives and who dies. You could kill neither of us, but allowing the evil Jeffrey Newsington to enter the world to kill as he pleases would make you somewhat responsible for the innocent blood being shed. You could kill us both to ensure the evil one dies, but then you would know that you had also killed the non-evil one. What will it be, Aaron? What's wrong with you? I can't do this. But you must. Choose, Aaron. Choose. Choose. Choose! 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 You shouldn't go around shooting people. It's just plain rude. It's just childish, really. You should know better. Idiot. Really unfortunate stuff, this. This inappropriate behaviour. Again, I apologise if Aaron Burr's crude comments have caused any offence. In other news, my evil clone was tragically shot and killed earlier today. We here at the 6 o'clock Newsington News at 6 have prepared a small tribute. Rest in peace, you majestic stallion. More coming up after the break.